What's up? We're back. 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 You missed us, huh? You missed us. Don't lie. You missed us. Timmy Charles, Timmy. Grab you. Kiss you on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we reacted to Lizzo's dances. They felt retaliated against while working with the singer. I don't understand why a fat girl would hit another fat girl, but let's hear. I, I understand it. How? Because the thing is, Lizzo has always been someone that people, like, she's always been the joke, the part of the joke. So if someone is, is a part of the joke like that, I understand why they would take advantage of other people. Because hurt people hurt people, basically. But she employed them and they look so good. Yeah, it's because it's because it's that thing which hurt people hurt people. So you take advantage because like, she's everyone, a boss. Literally, look at the manosphere and all of it. When someone is talking about an ugly woman or yeah, a yeah. woman who's not attractive, they would always say a guy can, a Lizzo, a Lizzo can get a, a guy, but a guy, there's no male Lizzo. So it's, I get it. I get it. it was, I empathize with that, but let's hear if it's true. Then you know, over the years, we it. have seen kind of the treatment of dancers. Some might even say the mistreatment of dancers depicted in media. But I'm curious, what, working with Lizzo, was there a specific moment or incident where you found... I wonder if these girls are actual dancers or she turned them into dancers. No, they're actual dancers. But like this was crossing the line and it's actually more of a toxic work environment. Many um, instances. I, I can't pinpoint one. I can probably count at least 10 um, just right off the bat. I mean, just um, inviting us to sexually explicit um, things a lot of times without our knowledge. Um, what are sexually explicit things? I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you being so ambiguous? Of knowing that there was going to be nudity there, um, you know, telling us that we need to be a family yes, and, yes. you know, uh, invite us to be sister-like, have a sisterhood, but then turn around and never give us the benefit of the doubt and believe <laughs> the microaggressions being put forth towards her um, by management about us. Um, just, just having these really intense meetings about um, how we're not being dancing good enough and we're, we're, you know, all kinds of allegations that, you know, we work really hard so we know are not true. Those meetings that you're talking about, mm -hmm. did it- Okay, but that, that, that's subjective. Yeah, it does. How are you going to tell your boss that you know what you're talking about and they don't? Especially with something that you cannot necessarily, what's the word? Quantify as dancing. It's like, like it's subjective. You can't. It's not like a, a you, performance orientated there's no task. Physi there's no physical output. Yeah, there's no score. There's no score, yeah. I feel like to you, like, this is not like the MO of the industry. This is not an industry standard. It felt different. Well, I personally and Crystal are very new to the industry. Noel has been in the industry for a while, but um, this is me and Crystal's first job. So for a long time um, in my time in the camp, I just chalked this up to, you know, this is probably just industry standard or like, even if it's not, you know, it can't be that bad. You know, the industry is crazy. I made a lot of excuses for Lizzo and the management team um, until enough was enough when I finally was out of it. Right. Crystal, what was that breaking point for you? The breaking point for me was for there to be blatant lies that were being spread about us and what we uh, were doing or how we were conducting ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then after, you know, communicating our, um, our, our sides of the story, or at least attempting to, uh, it felt like we were, you know, retaliated against. It felt like it was disregarded. It felt like it was ignored. It felt like it was uh, overlooked. It's just to make matters worse, for it to be with this particular artist who stands you know for the things that she stands for and the messages that she preaches you would never in a million years think that that would be something that you have to deal with and that you have to go through and well you um actually you resigned i did you resigned so what led to that decision well, me personally i've been dancing professionally <laughs> that was a not <laughs> that's what i'm thinking back like, you're still under contractual <laughs> ob obligation isn't there, isn't there like an nda or something no well, you should have. I'm sure there is. No, NDAs are, they're not part of the contract. That's what I'm saying. They're not standardized. You have to sign it. Yeah, I'm sure they give, don't they give them out? Like, for what? If you're going to go and work for Beyonce, obviously you're going to have an NBA and what's an the NDA? NDA, yes. Yeah, but that's Beyonce. And that's Lizzo. 
What's your point? You're not making your point. I have no point. <laughs> but she's also a star. That's my point. Is that she's yeah, also a star. The NDA is an anomaly. It's not an. It's not the rule. You're not just gonna sign NDAs for everything. It's like you're just a dancer. No, but if I'm a multi-millionaire and I'm working with people, but that's the thing. Lizzo does not have the star power that Beyonce has or the brand. But these girls also don't have that kind of brand that. No, how many people are? No, they don't have brand at all. But the point that I'm making is, how many people are hiring plus size dancers? Really, I don't know. But the point that I'm making is, Beyonce would make you sign an NDA because there's certain information that she does not want to be public, which relates to her family, right? She has like that's been a career for many many years. Like that's she the mystique thing. It's her thing. But if you're just gonna dance for fucking Chris Brown or, th- what would be the reason for the NDA? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The difference between a Chris Brown and uh, and a Lizzo is that Lizzo probably has dancers like on retainer, so she probably Maybe. works with the same dancers. So why yes, else wouldn't you have an NDA? Because okay. Beyonce, for example, Beyonce probably doesn't even she probably doesn't even get in. To a dance studio with her dancers, yeah, she probably gets separate day. rehearsals. She probably gets separate rehearsals. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but the point that I'm making is, what would be the credence for you to bring the the the, the NDA? Because you need to establish wh- what am I not supposed to disclose? And as soon as you bring something like that up, it raises alarms, especially if it seems as if it's not yeah. justified for about seven years now so I have past experience I've worked with a lot of these people that Lizzo looks up to herself like Beyonce Janet Jackson and so on so I know what is right and what is wrong in a work setting and and the norms for this industry and you know at at first small things would happen and I was like oh maybe it's a miscommunication between her and her management you know I'm trying to always give the benefit of the doubt at the beginning personality thing yeah maybe like... maybe she, she just has to warm up to us like mm. and I had even questioned former former dancers that are no longer a part of the camp like is it usually like this she's like right. no just give it some time but over time it was a slow like downward spiral of you know finally getting to the point of for me the biggest point that was the turning point in all of this was um, when we asked for our retainer, which is like a holding fee, that is a standard norm, and the rest of the talent on the tour was already receiving. We were like, hey, you know, it's a norm that dancers can ask and should receive, especially if everyone else is receiving. So that was the turning point, and I think the moment in which, you know, tensions started rising between management, Lizzo, and the dancers. But there's also also Lizzo in this too, who's probably feeling the same way. We saw in our statement today that it's inflicting some pain on her as well. Was there ever uh, an opportunity for you guys to rectify this in a different way that didn't involve lawyers? I can, for one, speak for myself that even before all of this transpired, while we were actively working with her, the collective dance cast had multiple, made multiple attempts to speak with not only her- She's pretty, yeah. Mm management team but also her just to let make her privy of all the things that we were going through and experiencing uh it never happened no well you allege that lizzo aggressively confronted you for resigning can you kind of detail that experience yeah so basically it was our last meeting we were under the impression that it was a fitting we show up shortly after we're then met by security and her management team and they're like this is actually not a fitting this is an a meeting with Lizzo, an ambush meeting, and then we're told to um, get hand over our phones. They're like, we need to confiscate your phones. Security takes them, and then she therefore comes in. You see, rather than holding people's phones, just give them the NDAs. Simple. To later on fire Ari, and then, you know, just... In front of y'all. In front of everyone, in front of everyone. Uh, her management was there, security, herself, and the rest of the dance members were also there. So within that, you know, I had planned on resigning a bit earlier. I had been in talks with my agent about- I don't understand why you as a talent would do like the firing, you know, cause this is like, it's admin stuff. You're supposed to have someone to do things like that. Which is what I'm saying. With your management and- I I actually- I wouldn't even be in the fucking room. No, I think I, that's what I, that's what I, that's what I meant when I, when I said that I get why she would be so authoritative. Yeah, yeah. Or authoritative. I get it. Because she's someone that people look down on. 
she's someone that who has no, but it's a business me. man like yeah but that's what I, you need management and yeah but she probably feels like responsible but for that's the, the problem she probably needs that validation that hey these people are here because of me man, just stay at home man you know, I'm gonna do this professionally, give my two weeks because up until then it was an accumulation of things. Just seeing how she had first handled the situation with Ari and how she let her go previously with the way that they let Crystal go, I was like, I can't stand for this anymore and I have to say something. So in coming forward and saying that, she then got physical. Um, she basically raised up her fist. She was like bawling her knuckles and she's like, you're so effing lucky, alluding to you're lucky I'm not gonna hit you. Enough to wear one of the dancers, you know, finally got up and had to pull her back because at that moment we were like, oh, she's actually going to... What was the security doing? Hit me and physically had to pull her back um, while then she's yelling all these different names and things. And, you know, it was, yeah, it was, it was scary and I it bet. was shocking. Ariana, what do you hope to accomplish through this lawsuit? I just really... Um, How much do they at want? this point, I don't need like an apology. That's a good or question. Let me, let me check. Even um, understanding, I just need change. Mm. Um, and I need dancers and other people in the industry and just people in general that are being taken advantage of, that you have a voice. I think you just have to know your rights. I've learned so many things about my rights as a dancer and what is what is deserved and what is the norm of being on set and how I should be treated by these artists and teams. So I, you know, I think anybody that pursues this this industry just needs a lot of tough skin and they need to understand that you know as much as it may seem uh, really glamorous from the outside sometimes it's not as glamorous as it as it seems you know so just to be realistic with yourself and kind of have those check-in moments to say you know am i mentally okay to take this on mm -hmm. because it is a lot to take on ah there's no amount here Oh, don't say that amount. Mm. Okay, yeah. Anyway, it's sad how, on the one side, women would be championing for women's rights and still do things like this to each other, mm -hmm. especially when it's it's something that has to do with like. Because I also like initially the reports that I read, they talked about like. She was mistreating them and saying things about like they wait or whatever. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. What? Okay. I I I don't I don't, I don't know. she feel the? What's wrong? Yeah, apparently she was fat shaming. So let me fact check myself. I mean, I like I get it. I get it. Why? Because if it's. If this thing is true, what they say, it's sexual like, harassment. I get it because Lizzo is someone who probably has yes, low self-esteem. She's someone who probably has low self-esteem. I'm sorry, but if I was frightfully, if I was fat, I was not gonna get fat shamed by someone who's fatter than I am. It makes no sense. Yeah, but it's one thing if it's also your boss, someone because if it's two people who are overweight and it's like, which is. You, someone just told me that I can't say it to you back but it can't be a fun thing and especially if someone is telling you so you must bite people as a woman especially Arr. if they're telling you that in front of other people it's like but yeah man like this thing is sad it's sad I, for I the wonder, dancers I wonder and why things had to go down it's like it's sad this. for Lizzo as well because like I think her career is over from now she'll never make a comeback if this thing is if they set a lot of court, then yeah, most likely. Even if they do set a lot of court. Because another thing that you must take into account is settling out of court in some it's degree. It's an admission of if, guilt. Yeah, yeah. It's an admission. So I don't know what you would have to do at this point. Hey, man. Like, <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Like, uh, uh, yeah, this thing is it's just, it's a delicate situation. Like, I wish everyone luck. The dancers, I wish them luck. And they're about to make money. Ooh. Wee. Ooh. Ah, man. Shout I'd, I'd, be, I'd be jumping up and down my bed. Like. Anywho, thanks, guys, for sticking with us. Um, that was Lizzo's dancers. Felt really, what, retaliated against? Yeah. 
Yeah. It was an NT online video and guys please like subscribe we're on the road to 500 subscribers please 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 i implore you sir um yeah thanks thanks guys for sticking with us thank you